Okay, so in this video I want to demonstrate uh, the child-parent object relationship that Xspace Forensics has and in particular um, the ability for you to bookmark uh, particular child objects and parent objects in uh, quite a hier hierarchical fashion. Uh, it's one of the things I find helps enormously with uh, the identification of other files or related files um, unlike uh, a lot of the other tools that I've used over the years um, I think x Forensics is quite revolutionary in the way that it, it does things um, so in this example I've created uh, a new case already and I've added a, uh, a forensic image to it which is quite small and just got some bits and pieces to demonstrate um, and the forensic image is courtesy of the guys at x as well so, um, so the important thing to note with the child object relationships in x Forensics is that it's highly dependent upon your volume snapshot options so um, we can access that by pressing F10 or specialist revive volume snapshot and these options in here are what will dictate which files have child objects and which ones don't um, so for example if you've not conducted a volume snapshot already and you've added an image that's got some zip files in it uh, those zip files will be listed as files for sure um, but the contents of those zip files won't be accessible as individual child objects um, at least not in a quick click of a button kind of way um, likewise with email messages you might have uh, an outlook.pst cabinet for example with a thousand emails and 300 attachments but none of those will be accessible in quite the same way until you've conducted this option here so I've already done most of these, which as you may or may not know, you can, if you click that little arrow there, it will tick a vast majority of them straight away, apart from the indexing one down the bottom. Um, at least the ones in this uh, panel here, these ones up above are a bit more specific uh, and it doesn't tick those by default. Um, anyway, so I've done that already to save a little bit of time. And as a result, I've now got various bits and pieces with child objects listed. So if I go, uh, this is using using version 17.6 by the way, in which uh, Stefan and his uh, colleagues have added the ability to uh, have cabinets added as a um, folder exploration view, for use of a better phrase, within the case data pane. Um, previous to version 17.6, these are accessible in the directory browser only. Um, but if I click on this inbox cabinet here as an example, the emails are listed over here um, with the usual bits and pieces. Your columns may look a bit different to mine. I always like to aim and the path set first um, and I usually set a, a lock on uh, the path column at least so that as I scroll left and right it moves uh, a long ways. The way to do that by the way, if nobody knows, is option directory browser. Uh, and down the bottom here you've got first scrollable column and in there you can choose which column is to be the first one to scroll um, so anyway, I digress um, right so let's pretend this email there uh, or better still uh, that one there uh, which has got a JPEG attachment to it let's say that email in and of itself the email and the attachment together is of importance or perhaps let's just say just the email is uh, x Forensics bookmarking feature for use of a better phrase is uh, referred to as uh, report tables and you create a report table association by right clicking the file you're interested in and you click report table associations and this is the default option that comes up by default it's the selected item only because uh, naturally that's probably the one that most people are going to want um, so to create a new one I'm just going to call it table one and click OK you get a keyboard shortcut straight away which is one of the best things about Xface Forensics which I love it makes bookmarking loads of files really easy um, uh, so I click close now um, and because I've not actually double clicked to finish the process it's not actually bookmarked it you can tell it's not bookmarked because there's nothing in the report table column and there isn't a little green arrow just there but what I can do now is bookmark it in one of two ways I can either right click report table association and just double click the one I've just created which will now bookmark it as you can see table one and little green arrow um, or if I want to bookmark that one as well using the same settings that I've already created so these settings here are now inherent to anything I bookmark using control one so if I want to do that one 
it will bookmark the selected item just the email itself not the attachments because they're child objects of the email if I now for example uh, let's take this one if I click on this picture files the pictures will open in a new tab here uh, right click to close um, let's say these are of interest to me and the email itself what I can now do is right click port table associations and I can change this to the selected item and the direct child objects so what that will now do is any child objects immediately below what you've selected will be bookmarked as well as the selected item so now if I bookmark that we're using control one that one is indeed bookmarked but if I explore this its children are also bookmarked in the same bookmark table one as you can see uh, just make that best fit um, so they're, they're now both bookmarked what you can also do is child objects recursively rather than just direct child objects so that will bookmark the email itself the attachments to the email and any child objects of the attachments now this is where it can potentially get quite messy if you're bookmarking for example a winzip file with 10 word processing documents embedded and each of those word processing documents have got four graphics files embedded inside them and also some OLE streams and various other bits and pieces before you know it your one click bookmarking process you can end up bookmarking hundreds or even thousands of file objects uh, potentially without even realizing it so I use that one with caution and very much on a one by one basis siblings uh, I gather I've never actually used it so this will be interesting will theoretically bookmark all the files within the same folder so if I now I don't know if this will work or not I'm hoping it will but and it does control one bookmarks books every bookmarks everything within that particular folder uh, siblings obviously been brothers sisters blah 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 uh, within the same folder to unbookmark everything remember we can highlight everything in control zero we'll unbookmark so what we can now do is uh, any known duplicates um, I don't know if any, I don't think any of these are duplicates so it probably won't work uh, no they're not um, but if they were it would automatically bookmark any other child object within the same evidence object in your case <coughs> so uh, my understanding and I could be wrong but my understanding is if you've got four forensic images in the case any duplicates on the same evidence object so on one forensic image will automatically be bookmarked at the same time not necessarily duplicates on other forensic images in the same case um, so that's pretty useful so uh, using this you can really easily and quickly uh, find bits and pieces so let's say for example um, we've been let's say loads of word processing documents or pictures have been bookmarked um, but their parent emails haven't so let's pretend for example uh, this one here it's got this JPEG embedded as an attachment it's currently unbookmarked if I right click report table association and have the parent file selected as well as the selected item then the picture itself will be bookmarked and its parent email automatically which will help you really easily find the parents of particular files uh, so now uh, you can just leave any known duplicates on by default I tend to I think it's quite useful um, so if you go control one now that's bookmarked the picture but what we should find is that its parent is also bookmarked which it is uh, and then obviously what we can also do is you can filter by the report tables so at any point in time you can ask Xpost Forensics to just show the files that you've bookmarked by selecting what you want to bookmark and it could be multiple ones if there are some you click activate and then from anywhere in your case you can recursively right click case route click OK and it will automatically list all the files that you've got bookmarked which you, you can then export out really useful feature really rapid way of identifying and bookmarking files I like it.